Respected council members, India has been taken over by an extremist authoritarian regime headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi since May 2014. Attempts are on to cover up the extreme degradation of the country and its democratic institutions under Modi to ensure that the international community as well as the Indian diaspora in the U.S. keeps the focus away from all that is wrong in the country. As a born Hindu myself, living in the U.S., I feel compelled to reveal the larger game plan of not just the Indian government under Modi, but also his supporters in the U.S. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is a product of the RSS, a right-wing paramilitary group inspired by the Nazis. The international wing of the RSS, the HSS, and its allies, including the World Hindu Council of America, Hin um, Hindu American Foundation, Hindu Students Council, operating in several U.S. universities supposedly to celebrate Hindu culture, are doing exactly the opposite. Modi and his ministers are using Hinduism to spread extreme hate against the minorities, whether it's the Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, or Dalits. The hate is being perpetrated to enable the government to get away with mass-scale corruption and looting. Modi and his supporters propagate the Hindu tour philosophy, which is nothing but a saffron terror group not related to Hinduism. Modi supporters who have lived in the U.S. for decades are pushing the radical Hindu tour aggressively in every city and state in the U.S. not endorsed by most Indians, especially Hindus. Uh, the U.S. needs to wake up to the prospect of harboring Hindutva without, become, without being aware of it. U.S. needs India to keep a check on countries like China, Pakistan, and Afghanistan, but a terribly weak, cruel, pompous, arrogant, narcissistic prime minister who's weakening his own country, destroying the progress gained over 70 years in just seven short years can not be possibly anybody's ally. God bless America and God bless India. Thank you.